Why did you make Death Ain't That Bad? This album really saved me from a dark place I was in. Um, it was at a time where I had a lot of fallouts with some close people in my life and was still dealing with a lot of loss and trauma that I'd been enduring. Um, one of the bigger things being the loss of my younger brother, Edisu. Being from Maryland but living in California, I had to deal with a lot of my grieving and stuff by myself. Um, but I hit a point where I literally had to say to myself, death isn't as bad as the feelings I'm feeling right now. So death would have been freeing in that context. But then it started, then I had to really go and reflect about what my relationship with death was. And in that, found myself digging deep and was able to make this album that really just saved me. I'm now at peace with a lot of things in my life. So this album, I needed to make this album. And if I didn't, I probably wouldn't be here. Now that Death Ain't That Bad is out, what songs really hit home for you? Life's Too Short, the outro. I literally made that beat sitting next to my mother in, I in, in ICU after uh, having two and a half feet of her colon cut out from colon cancer. And I was on the flight home, like a red eye. And when I landed, I found out that I almost lost her because of negligence in the hospital. They put her in general after taking out almost three feet of her colon. Mind you, she's like five two, five three, and I almost, almost lost it. But, you know, going straight to the hospital and I was with her every day for like a week, just sitting, making beats next to her. I literally sampled the ICU machine in the background. You can hear it in the beat, you know. My parents didn't really like the fact that I was doing music. I was, really, I was going to Howard. Um, I was always doing pre-med stuff. I've worked as a CNA in hospitals and retirement homes. So they really wanted me to be a doctor, but I realized growing up, I was in direct confliction with what I wanted to do in my life. And it didn't make them happy when I decided to move to California to pursue this music shit. And, you know, it kind of strained our relationship for a bit, but we reconnected and we really, you know, now they're like my biggest supporters. Ashtray music is a song to me that hits home. Talking about my experiences growing up in Tacoma Park, Maryland, living at Wheaton, Maryland. Used to live in DC, Northeast. My grandma lives in Largo, so being in PG County and just being around a bunch of wild shit, not only from the streets, but just from like law enforcement. You know what it's like to have law enforcement know you by name and just be harassed endlessly? Whether it's being like beaten, assaulted, whether it's been wrongfully accused, whether it's been searched time and time again because you drive a decent car, asked if you have dead bodies or asked if you have hella guns or just whatever, and you're simply just trying to exist. Um, yeah, free all of mine until it's backwards, by the way. But I have first hand of you know, dealt with just a lot of tra traumatic experiences, both just societally speaking and um, just personal. So that, that, that really just expressed my relationship with death in, in a way where um, just giving more context to who I am and where I come from. Parallel Timelines is also a song that hits home for me on this album too, because of just the idea of being able to think of what life would be like if maybe someone whose past was still around. But then I had to kind of unpack a bit and realize, is it selfish to like want somebody to still be around just so you have that immediate access to them or that accessibility? Just being able to call somebody one more time or text them 
or be on that phone call a little bit longer instead of getting off because you're in a rush? And is it okay to be selfish? You know, those are things I had to kind of really dig deep within myself to answer. But also, again, it's not about me. It's more so sharing that context and that my experiences so that you can ask yourselves those questions. Because I feel like answering those things gives better clarity to what a relationship to death could be. And it doesn't have to be so bad. It's bad, but it doesn't have to be that bad. Yeah. In another parallel timeline.